Hey guys, another right dev here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to upload and insert videos into your Roblox games. Anyway, let's get right into it. So first of all, in order for this to work, you need to go to files and then beta features. And you're going to find the little checkbox that says video uploads and check it. Once you're done, you're going to click save and it'll probably ask you to restart studio. So just go ahead and do that. When you're done, you should have this new feature enabled in your game. So now that we have videos enabled, let's go ahead and learn how to upload them. Before we do that though, we're going to need a video frame, which is how you display videos in your Roblox game. There are two places where video frames can be displayed, either in starter GUI on the screen or in workspace on a part. I'm going to do it in workspace on a part. So to do this, we can just add in a part and we can go ahead and anchor it or whatever. Then in this part, we are going to add in a surface GUI. And in this GUI, we are going to add in a video frame. Now, if it is not displaying, you can just go ahead and set the face of the surface GUI to whatever face the front is. So in this case, it is the right face. And then we can go ahead and set the size of the video frame to be 1, 0, 1, 0. So it takes up this entire box. So to upload a video, we're going to need to go to the view tab and we're going to open up our asset manager. You're going to save your game to Roblox if you haven't already. And once you are done, you should be able to use the asset manager. And now we can upload a video, which I'll get to in a second. But first, here are some requirements you need to know. Number one, of course, it needs to follow the Roblox TOS. Number two, it needs to be 30 seconds or shorter in either in .mp4 or .mov format. No other format is supported. Its resolution cannot be more than this resolution you see on the screen right now, and it has to be less than 375 megabytes. Now here's what's bad about this. Each video will cost 2,000 Robux to upload, and you can only upload three videos within a 30-day period. Also, if your video does not get approved by the Roblox moderators for copyright or just not being appropriate, you will not get a refund. So make sure you are uploading videos wisely. Now that we have this in mind, we can go ahead and click this upload button on the asset manager and we can just find a clip less than 30 seconds that we can upload. I have this small clip here so I'm going to double click it and here we get this warning asking us if we would like to import the selected file for 2000 robux. Once we click confirm, it'll check that our video is less than 30 seconds and in the right format. And if those boxes are checked, it is going to take 2000 Robux from our account. So I am not going to click confirm because I do not have 2000 spare Robux. But when you do that, you should be able to copy the video ID and paste it into the video frame under this video property. Now what if you don't have 2000 spare robux and you just want to upload a video made by somebody else that is already uploaded and free to use on the platform. To do this you're going to have to open up your browser and go to create.roblox.com. This will open up Roblox's creator hub. From there you can log in and then go to marketplace. Once in Marketplace, you can go to the Videos tab, and here you're going to find tons of freely available videos that you can use in your game, with no charge. Once you find a video you like, you can click Get Video, and now you'll see this item is available in your inventory. Now we can head on back to Roblox, and we're going to go to the View tab once again and open up Toolbox. From here, we're going to click this little box that says Inventory, and we're going to switch it from My Models to My Videos. From here, you can see all your own videos. You're going to right-click the one you want to use and click Copy Asset ID. From here, we can select our video frame and paste the asset ID. And once we do that, our video should display, which it is not doing for some reason. Oh, there we go. It just took a while to load. And now we have a video. And in our video, there's some things we can customize. Most important being playing and looped. So looped just basically means the video will loop forever. And playing just means the video is playing. If this is unchecked, the video will pause. And time position is the amount of time in seconds the video is starting from. So a time position of zero means it's starting at the beginning. So anything higher than that means it is starting at one second into the video. So now if we click play, we can give the video some time to load. And as soon as it's done, you can see a nice little video will be displayed. Anyways, that is it for this video. 
I really do hope you enjoyed and learned something new. For more information, I will have the dev forum that I got all this information from in the comments below. You can read it and check it out yourself. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you.